Hello guys, whoops, sorry. I'm on the train back now after preaching the gospel in uh, York. I only did roughly an hour and something. Um, I couldn't I couldn't stand there. I got I got quite a lot of people um, opposing me immediately upon starting starting the the video um, a young man came up to and uh, he, he, he's a heckler and he started pre preaching and he and he turned off the camera on, as I was preaching so I had to start the video again um, and then God sent born again Andrew who got saved the last time I went to York God sent him he just happened to be there and he removed he removed the guy and I said go away and he stood up for me so Andrew if you're watching this thank you he stood up for me and uh, I was able to continue preaching but um, my gosh guys uh, each time I go out I notice I, a greater and greater um, indifference and apathetic, uh, you know, people that are just hard-hearted and and they're stopping themselves from entering into heaven. The Bible says they oppose themselves by not believing the simple gospel. God made it so easy for a two-year-old child to understand. People are turning away the very one who could grant them everlasting dwellings in heaven above. It's crazy. Um, I, there's nothing in this world that, that that I want. Nothing at all. If I've got my basic needs, um, if they are met, I, I, I am more than satisfied. I'm satisfied. I'm a, a grateful, thankful man. Um, I look around. I look. I go into my flat. Every time I thank God for the flat, after living homeless seven years, um, you really do appreciate every little thing. Um, I, I, appreciate, I, ask, I thank God, I look, look around my flat and I, I see all the things, and I, I thank God for, the, for it all, because um, I've got a bed, I've got a bed, and I always thank him for that bed. I, I go into the shower and I thank him every morning for the shower, because there's a lot of the world don't, can't, can't even get a shower. Um, they, they might be lucky if there's one tap um, within within a um, you know one one uh, county or one district. So you know some some places in Africa they travel walking miles with buckets get to fill up fill up from this tap and then carry the buckets on their head back to where they're going. So. So I'm grateful for, for the shower, you know. Um, there's people that I know what it's like to go without. I know, so I've got. I really appreciate every little thing, and I also appreciate your prayers for me today because um, in the second video, after I prayed about that man who came at the first, the second video, I was I felt really urgent with the message because Jesus Christ is, is about to come. He's about to take all believers up in the rapture. And um, I felt this urgency in my heart. The people are walking past, scoffing, mocking. Um, you know, the Bible says the fool says in his heart there is no God. And um, I, I, I'm not, I'm trying to present it as uh, nice as I can. But now I'm starting to tell people, um, look, if you reject the Lord Jesus, his free gift of everlasting life you won't make it into heaven and you will find yourself in hell I don't like having to tell people this but um, it's the truth and um, Jesus talked more about hell than he did about heaven because he knew it was so real that he didn't want anybody to go there so you know he described hell more than heaven anyway I'm going to get off and upload this video just wanted to thank you all for praying for me today it was tough being on my own, uh, but thank you all who prayed and you guys who supported. I couldn't do it without you. Um, on the way back, I met a homeless guy um, who I'd met before actually, and he believes. I gave him a Bible the last time I came, and he believes. So I helped him out a bit, 
because um, he had nothing, he had no money or anything, so I helped him out. And um, uh, I think I've helped somebody else out today. I, I, I always, I always try to help people out. I see homeless people, and uh, I'll not always, but most of the time, I'll go up to them and, and give them a tract. Uh, sometimes, for some reason, um, I don't do it, and I don't know if it's Holy Spirit telling me not to or, or what. But um, but most of the times, um, I. I I know what it's like to be homeless because I'm seven years homeless and every day police are chasing you on, moving you on. You, you can't, you wake up in the morning in a shop doorway and you, you need to go to the toilet and nobody will let you into the toilet and it's demoralizing, dehumanizing and it shouldn't be going on. Not in this world with, of abundance, you know. There's enough food to go around 20 times um, but the world is like it is because there are, there is the devil, and there are wicked men, um, elites ruling this world, who are in direct contact with these fallen angels and high-ranking demons, and um, this world is it's upside down. But the Bible says after the rapture, it will literally be turned upside down, and um, not not literally, sorry, but it was going to be. It's going to be hell on earth, that's what, literally hell on earth during the seven year tribulation. So that's why I'm doing this, because we are at the cusp of the rapture happening and God doesn't want people to be left behind. He wants all to be saved and get on board the ark of salvation and all can be saved no matter who they are, no matter what they've done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So that's it, I'm going to end this now, uh, but I love, you, I love you guys, I'm going to have to end it anyway because I'm getting a call, see you guys, love you.